This video is designed to help you fill in Section D of your 2016 Annual Information Statement. That's AIS for short. Your answers will appear on the public ACNC register unless you've applied for and we've approved specific details to be withheld. So it's important to get them right. All the details you'll see entered in this video are based on a fictitious organisation named The Yellow Charity. They don't belong to an actual charity. Now let's begin. Section D, Finance, is about your charity's finances. This section is optional for basic religious charities and non-government schools. The questions in this section will vary slightly depending on whether your charity is small, medium or large. The example in this video is for medium and large charities. That's charities with annual revenue of more than $250,000. For medium and large charities, question 15 comprises five questions about your charity's financial report. Select the relevant answer from the drop-down for each one. Just note that the page may take a moment to update each time you make a selection. For assistance with these questions, read the 2016 Annual Information Statement Guide or you can click on the Help button next to each line. Now you'll need to fill out the Comprehensive Income Statement and Balance Sheet Extract. Enter amounts for all the items that make up the total using Australian dollars. Round up or down to the nearest dollar and do not include cents. If the value is zero dollars, enter zero. Include zeros to show thousands. Check that the totals you enter match the amounts in your financial statements. For guidance on each of the line items, read the 2016 Annual Information Statement Guide or you can click on the Help button next to each line. As a medium or large size charity, at question 16 you must upload your financial report. Choose the file from your computer, then click Attach. If the financial report you're uploading is not for the period 1 July 2015 to 30 June 2016, indicate the date range that your financial report covers here. If your charity prepares a financial report to provide to a state or territory regulator because it is an incorporated association, a cooperative or a charitable fundraising organisation, you can provide a copy of this financial report to the ACNC. We will accept this report as meeting our requirements for the 2016 reporting period. You will need to indicate this at question 16a and then select the states and territories where you submitted the report in question 16b. You will then need to indicate what type of organisation your charity is at question 16c. And this brings us to the end of section D for medium and large charities. Before you move on to the next page, we recommend that you click the save button. To move on to the next section of the AIS, click the next page button here. For assistance with the other parts of the AIS, you can view the other videos in this series. As always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the AIS, you can call us on 132262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.